guys, what is up? It is I, James Penrose here, back again for my next video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about yet another one of the matches that's going to be happening for WrestleMania 33 Live on Sunday night. I'm recording this on Thursday. We are not that far away now. I've only got like three more days to go, and I'm getting more and more excited as well. And on a side note, another thing that's actually getting more, more, me more excited for this pay-per-view is the current stage setup that they're constructing right now at the Camping World Stadium. Guys, we are on the verge of seeing potentially the greatest WrestleMania stage setup of all time. I am not even bullshitting. They have everything going right now. They've got a massive globe with the WrestleMania logo. It looks like they could do like a spinning thing going on. They've, they're legitimately building a roller coaster on the stage, guys. They said that as a rumor. Oh, they could do this. And I'd be like, yeah, really. Like, they, they wouldn't do that. They're, they're building a roller coaster. A legit roller coaster on the stage. Now, whether it's going to be used or not for superstars, like the new day I'm hearing could maybe ride on the roller coaster as the, the entrance for their match, even if they're going to have a match. I know they're the hosts, but I don't know. Like, it, it's crazy. You've got a massive ring on top of the umbrella in case it rains, because you know, out, an outside WrestleMania, it has like an umbrella on top of the ring in case it rains. But they've got everything for this stage set up. This match, however, I am honestly m most frustrated about. And it's a match that has potential. It's a shame because these two guys. I know can have a great match, but with the way they're booking a certain superstar, it really, in 2017 now, that they're, they're still doing this pisses me off. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Roman Reigns going one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. Where the fuck do I start, guys? Where... Where do I start? And this all really started when Roman Reigns eliminated The Undertaker at the Royal Rumble. When he came out at number 30, because let's not forget this, guys, at the Royal Rumble, the WWE trolled us big time where they had Roman Reigns come out at number fucking 30, when it could have been anyone else. You could have brought Finn Balor back. You know, you maybe you could have bring, brought Seth Rollins back. Well, not Seth Rollins, because he had the, um... I, well, I can't remember what he was doing at the Royal Rumble, but, like... Regardless, it could have been it could have been anyone else, but literally you had to give it to Roman Reigns. And not only that, he eliminated the Undertaker as well. So when it comes all comes down to it, th that's a bad start right there. And I un I just don't understand for the life of me why in 2017 we are we are still trying to push Roman Reigns as a babyface. Can, can, can someone please tell me why? All the feuds he's had in 2015, Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 31, you know, Bray Wyatt, uh, Triple H, a uh, triple fucking H, one of the top heels in the history of the WWE, a guy that works so well as a heel, could make, you literally wanted to see him get beat all the time. But now we live in an age where heels and baby faces don't matter. The heel and baby face dynamics are absolutely fucked. They've gone, they've just took a big dump on all of that and said, uh, Roman Reigns, you guys don't like him, but fuck it, because we've got to make Roman Reigns look strong. And how do we do that? Oh, great idea. Let's have him go in as a baby face, right? As a baby face against The Undertaker, the greatest superstar of all time. Like, well, in my opinion, Undertaker is the greatest of all time. And literally... This is how you want to do it, WWE. Really, this is how you want to do it. For me, this match is nothing but a lose-lose situation. And again, it's a shame because these guys I know can have a great match. I'm not hitting on Roman Reigns in the ring. In the ring, he's a phenomenal talent as well. The stuff he does in the ring, I do like the, the stuff he does. Like Even though the spear is kind of shoved down our throats now. I do like the move where he has the guys on the freaking apron and he jumps and does the drop kick. I like that. You know, he does have some good moves in his arsenal. And Undertaker, he's had tremendous classics in the past with WrestleMania. Like, honestly, one of the main reasons, along with the Streetwise, the greatest of all time for me personally. So, you would expect a good, at least a good match out of these two. You would expect it. But for me, it's nothing but a lose lose situation. I'm going to explain why. Because now that the streak has gone for The Undertaker, everyone now wants this to be a time when Undertaker can come into WrestleMania, face a new up and coming star like maybe a Kevin Owens that was supposed to happen last year, or, or Sting, or whatever. Well, Sting's not an up and coming, he's retired. But nevertheless, Kevin Owens was rumoured last year, that didn't happen. Sami Zayn, um, Bray Wyatt rematch, even though I don't think anyone wanted to see that. But again, if Bray Wyatt were to win, it would have worked, you know? Any, anyone else, young up and coming, that Undertaker could have put over, but no, they're just going to have him lose to Roman Reigns, who WWE honestly has given me no reason to want me to want me to see Roman Reigns win, despite the fact that they're pushing him as a babyface. See, this is what I'm talking about. The babyface and heel dynamics are fucked. These two are both babyfaces going into this. 
Like how? Like how? And even when Roman Reigns do does act a little heelish, when he says to Shawn Michaels, oh, well, with all due respect, which I, 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 a heel Roman Reigns wouldn't say that, but literally he just says, oh, well, this is my yard now, and at WrestleMania, the Undertaker's going to know what it feels like to step in the ring with Roman Reigns, because I'm going to retire him. And it's like, even when he is acting just a little bit heelish, just a little bit, it's intriguing, you know, because I, I would think at the very least, at the very least, they would be planting the seeds for a Roman Roman Reigns heel turn. But no, he's just gonna go into WrestleMania as a babyface, beat Undertaker in what could be a, a stinker or a good match. I don't know what the match is gonna be, but he's just gonna beat Taker and Taker retires from that. Are you fucking serious? Now, this brings me on to another reason why it's a lose lose situation because, like I said, if, Take, if Reigns were to beat Taker, then everyone would literally be pissed because he needs to be heel going into this, but he's not. But People might also be pissed at Undertaker winning, just for the sake that, again, he should be the guy that after WrestleMania 30, because like I said, the streak is over, that he should be back to, you know, put over the younger talent, but, and if he were to win, then what does that really do for anyone, like, who does that benefit, but here's what I'm gonna say. If it was against anyone else, if it was against the Sami Zayn, a Kevin Owens, Bray Wyatt again, even though it wouldn't have been good... You know, then at least I would say, all right, put this guy over, put this guy over. Like, Bray Wyatt could have been put over at WrestleMania 31, but he didn't. But at least I would have understood it. WWE, again, has given me no reason to want me to see Roman Reigns beat Taker. Despite the fact that they're pushing him as a babyface, like I keep reiterating. So, regardless of whether it does nothing for anyone, I'm sorry, but I've been given more reason to want The Undertaker to win, rather than Roman Reigns. So, I'm sorry, I want The Undertaker to beat Roman Reigns. And it sucks because if Roman Reigns was a heel and he was booked correctly as he should be booked, I would say I'd want Roman Reigns to beat an Undertaker. Because a heel Roman Reigns can do so much good for the company. You know, so much good, make you so much money, so many good feuds, good storylines, can build Roman Reigns up as a character. But, but no, we can't do that. We're just gonna have Roman Reigns beat The Undertaker as a babyface, and... They're just going to, you know, pretend like it didn't happen and then Roman Reigns is just going to be the most hated guy in all of wrestling. Because let's be it. Let's be real. He is the most hated guy in all of wrestling. And even the most hated wrestler all around the world of wrestling. Like, we've got so many hated people. Like, even Marie. Although, thankfully, I'm hearing she's leaving WWE, which... Thank fucking God. Hallelujah. But, you know, like, Roman Reigns is up there as the most hated guy in wrestling. Heel or babyface. It, it's a, that bit's irrelevant still. So... My prediction for this match is, well, here's who I want to win. I want The Undertaker to beat Roman Reigns. I've got more of a reason to see Undertaker beat Roman Reigns than otherwise. But prediction, obviously, Roman Reigns is going to beat The Undertaker. Hopefully he won't retire him because then that would really be the ultimate fuck you to the WWE fans. So let's hope The Undertaker doesn't retire off of this. Hopefully we, he gets a good send-off and he goes on up against the John Cena or something like that and have him win his retirement match and go out as the guy, a true icon of the business. I mean, this is not the match to go out on. It's as simple as that. It's, this is not the match to go out on. Could it be a good match? Yeah, and again, that's the other thing. It has potential, but the way they've booked this, the way they haven't gone all out with a Roman Reigns heel turn, how he's just still trying to show a bit of respect to all the legends, Sean Taker, when he should just be hammering them on the microphone, you know, and just going all out. They're, they're not doing that. So that's what I've got to say about this match, and I know I went on a tirade about that. And I just I just went mental and I probably messed up a couple of times. But big deal, I've already recorded this a few times. So fuck it, whatever goes out, goes out. So other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys like this video, comment on this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be returning my series of Let's Play The Simpsons Hit and Run. Episode 27 should be out by either the end of this week or next week. I don't know, but it's going to be the start of level 7. So that's going to be pretty awesome to see. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm James Penrose and all I can say is... Peace out, my brothers!